it was clear from the beginning what they were going to do. They didn't seek the truth or they didn't seek the facts. They made a conclusion and set out to prove it. And that is the most dangerous thing you can do as a prosecutor. And a lot of people really think that the evidence was there. From a prosecutor's standpoint, I don't think it was there. And I went through it all. I followed everything. I've talked to my colleagues. I can't tell you my conversations I had with Stefanik, Elise, who's, uh, who was in those, all those hearings and who was constantly telling me what's going on. We weren't allowed to go to him. And uh, I was, I, I tell you what's troubled me, and, I, and I'll tell you uh, from both sides. The call itself was ill-advised, no question about it. And I've said that, and it was not, it was not, he would have avoided this whole hassle if he had not engaged in that. And it was undisciplined, and it was not smart, okay? But what else is there? What else happened? Um, the, they got their money. Uh, there was no information given to him. And then you look at all the other proof that was there, and I'm just, I heard nothing during the whole process other than bribery and uh, quid pro quo and extortion. And those are all crimes, chargeable offenses, right, impeachable offenses. And then the ultimate charging uh, instrument didn't contain any of those. They contained amorphous terms, abuse of power and obstruction of justice. Now let's talk about abuse of power first. That is very scary, in my mind, a very scary expansion of the impeachment bar. I think the impeachment bar is very high for a reason. And when you say abuse of power, think how that could be, how that's, I, I just think it's really watered down uh, the ability of future presidents to operate with any sort of um, uh, discretion. And then I look at obstruction, and uh, that's not a crime either. Abuse of power is not a crime, and obstruction of Congress is not a crime. At the very same time they're charging obstruction of Congress, they're also um, uh, litigating in court the very parameters of executive privilege. And they're saying he didn't have his people testify, so therefore he's obstructing us. But the president's saying it's executive privilege, and they're testing it out in courts. And even, I think, uh, Justice Bader Ginsburg uh, stayed one case to, to hear, get more evidence, to get more information on it. And so, um, and as a matter of fact, as we speak right now, they're still litigating that stuff in the federal courts, but they charge it as impeachable offense. And the last thing to me was probably the most important, neither offense is criminal conduct, and never in the history of our country have we impeached based on non-criminal conduct. And one last thing, we've had one impeachment in the first 190 years of our country, and that was Andrew Johnson. In the last 50, we've had three. And I think because of what's happened here, we're gonna have more. And looking back on it, um, I think that they, the impeachment um, of, of President Clinton was a mistake, and I think that lowered the bar, and I think it's lowering the bar even more now. And that was even criminal conduct alleged.